Hi guys. Okay, so we yesterday, yesterday morning, it's Tuesday, I'm at school, you can see. Um, on Tuesday, on Monday, I we talked about muscle, muscles and muscle cells and this the muscular system. And the first part of the muscular system, I was saying, oh, great, I don't have a whiteboard and I really need to show you, it kind of draw some pictures of these different kinds of cells, you know, the different kinds of muscle tissues. And so, hey, I'm back. We're going to talk about it. And so I've drawn pictures of the three kinds of muscle cells. And we had said, we had this one here, and we had said, those can be really, really long. And let me see if I can get this thing where we can see it even better. A little bit closer view of it, I hope. Okay, so you can see this is skeletal muscle. And you can see these things are really long. We said they can be 30 centimeters, about 12 inches long. And they're striped. They're striated. And they're voluntary. Yeah, that, you can't see that. Um, and look, you see these? It's multinucleate. So, so this is what we're talking about. And so hopefully if you think about the slides you know, that we looked at, you say, oh, I can tell now, or maybe you already knew, um, what they look like. Um, the next one was the cardiac cells. And I've drawn three cells up here. Remember, we said that these, these cells are more normal, but not really. That doesn't really look like what you think of a cell. But you can see that it has a single nuclei in each of the cells. They're striated um, and they're branched. And what, did, what is the other thing we had said? We said they communicate. They communicate with each other through something called gap junctions. So we have little openings that, ex that allow for the exchange of the chemistry between adjacent cells. Those are called gap junctions. And so we had said these are involuntary. They're capable of this, you know, beating your heart throughout life. Um, and it's very rhythmic, of course. The third example, and I'm, I'm gonna pick up my phone so you can even see it. Um, is the smooth muscle. And we said they are spindle shaped. So we have what, like maybe eight or 10 of them up there. And it says intestine in the middle. And each of those cells with a little pointy end and a nucleus in between is a smooth muscle cell. And so they're not, they don't really look like a whole lot, but the others are so unusual. We, we need to show all three of them. So we have all three of them, and we had said that they lack striations, they're mononucleate, they, they line hollow organs, they're involuntary, all of that stuff. Okay, what else do we need to mention? We had talked about the functions of muscles. Uh, I, that's pretty straightforward. So motion, maintaining posture, heat and production, heat production, joint stability, sphincter muscles, guarding entrances, communication. Uh, we had talked about they they react to stimuli. They're excitable, and when a muscle um, is stimulated, it goes from long to short. It contracts. And when my bicep contracts, my tricep extends. So they're contractile and extendable. And they kind of bounce back. They're elastic. They, they go back to their original shape. We had talked about the the different layers of connective tissue that extend through them, aponeurosis. I'm not gonna go through the stuff that's, that's very straightforward uh, again. 
Um, we've already covered it. Um, we have an origin and an insertion and an action. And we have all these different shapes of muscles. I'm going to come back with another video. I'm going to draw some pictures on the board showing you the shapes of muscles. Hang on.